Hi, I'm Dr. Terry Silkman. Those of you who've been following us, I hope have gotten the realization that we're trying to bring to you things that we hope bring value to your lives and to enrich the lives that you live and the lives of those people around you that you care about. So what we're going to talk about tonight is something that at one point in my life, like a lot of people, life wasn't something that was fun. It wasn't something that you got up in the morning and looked forward to. It was day after day after day of anguish and frustration and despair and sometimes almost unbearable feelings of inadequacy and failure. Some of you who know me now go, gosh, you know, the guy is 6'3", he's 200 pounds, he's done two sports at Division One level. How in God's name could you know anything about anybody who has uh, done anything remotely and lived even remotely in the lives of a bully person? Well, the answer to the question is, what you see now, and more importantly, what I see now, it wasn't always the case. I won't go into a lot of my story, but I grew up uh, in a small rural town about 30 miles away from town. My folks were so broken those days that basically all of my preschool years were living out on the farm and dealing with grown-ups, not dealing with kids. And if you've ever done that, you know when you show up uh, in the schoolyard environment, you're pretty ill-equipped to try to deal with the things that you'll face. And especially if you kind of doubt your confidence and you doubt your self-esteem, well, that led to years, especially since I was the big guy, that led to years of lots of other guys trying to figure out whether they were tough enough. I didn't deal with some of the things that some people do about overweightedness or disabilities or other inadequacies, but the one big inadequacy was what I felt about me. And so what are we talking about that tonight in a, a theme of how we, how we bring health and wellness? Well, in our estimation, wellness is a big concept, uh, and it has as much to do with feed, what you feed your mind and your soul as it does with what you feed your body. So I was fortunate enough last week to meet with an incredible guy named Brett. Brett has worked for years in personal empowerment. He incorporates a program that involves teachers, parents, children. It involves martial arts. It involves assertive classes. Just an incredible program. And I'm not going to put uh, his contact information out, uh, obviously, for those of you who might feel a little bit inhibited. But really, if you feel yourself that life is just one struggle after another in your interpersonal relationships if you know a child or a friend or a daughter or a sister or a mother or a brother who's dealing with the effects of bullying. Well, at one point in time, it is said was almost unbearable to me. I can understand how people can find the journey too difficult to continue to endure. And before that happens, there's help out there. Any one of you who sees this or shares it can private message me and I will get you in touch if you don't have other resources with Brett. And I know that he can find, even if you don't happen to live in the locale that we come from, which is the Salt Lake Valley, I know he can find resources for you. Don't let it wait too long. Don't be the person who says, I knew, but I didn't do anything. There's people out there who need all of us in that regard. And if you find them, and if you can't help them, please feel free to reach out to us. We would love to put them in touch with people who can. Thanks for uh, joining us. Uh, a shout out to all of you who've joined tonight. Hope this has been valuable to somebody in your lives. And again, reach out to us. Let us know if there's somebody who needs help. Thanks.